Hello, I'm Tom Jerzyk, the director of the International Student Office, soon to be International Student and Scholars area of the International Center at Minnesota State University, Mankato. The in-state tuition program has been in existence at MSU since the early 1990s. Uh, it was created uh, through the International Student Office to reward academic scholarship and also uh, involvement in the community and sharing of their of, uh, international students' culture. The in-state tuition scholarship will begin a student's very first semester at MSU and then it's up to the student to maintain uh, a certain number of uh, qualifications and requirements and their, their scholarship will continue each semester for undergraduates up to a maximum of nine semesters or four and a half years and for graduate students uh, up to two and a half years or five semesters. So the basic requirements to maintain the scholarship are for undergraduates a 2.5 grade point average each semester and 12 completed grade letter credits. The um, graduate requirements are a 3.1 grade point average each semester and uh, the number of credits required are six letter grade credits. There then is uh, what we call a cultural contribution volunteer hour requirement. Uh, there, as we have said, a number of uh, activities, cultural celebrations that uh, student groups put on representing their culture, their, their country, uh, speaking to groups uh, on the campus, to outside groups, service organizations like Lions, Rotary, sometimes to church and religious groups, and also to the elementary and K-12 uh, public school system in Mankato. Some of the things uh, that the students ask for contribution hours for sometimes include menial, um, volunteer, uh, cleaning, um, filing. Those hours would not be approved because they are not sharing one's culture. That's just providing some cheap labor for possibly a department or um, some other area. And so um, it, we, we truly want it to be a sharing, sharing of culture. Deadlines that the ISO has set are that the hours need to be turned in by the end of the semester each semester. So. 25 hours during a 16-week semester is, is, is very little. Just takes some planning, some organization, and using the resources such as the ISO, our listserv that uh, will always be um, listing some of the opportunities coming up, as well as then making connections on their own to um, do something new and do something different, but share, sharing their, their, their culture. A student is only informed if they have failed to meet some of the requirements and then in effect their in-state tuition scholarship is canceled. So every semester after the decisions have been made there is an appeal time and an appeal process that a student for whatever reason feel that they still deserve the scholarship they, they, they can appeal. Uh, we always tell students to monitor their MSU email because that is the, the method of communication for in-state tuition scholarship and so it is the obligation of, of the student to monitor, to know if um, they're continuing on, or if they're not, if they're going to be appealing, what the deadlines are for that. The forms um, needed for, for applying, for appealing, um, is available on the, the, the International Student Office and the New International Center's website. There is a full brochure on the, the, the rules and regulations of the scholarship on our website, and as certainly the director, assistant director, and immigration and program coordinator can answer any uh, questions you may have. But again, to, to sum it up, this is a, a wonderful opportunity that has been afforded uh, international students on our campus. Um, it's, it's very important that every student who is on the scholarship takes it seriously. The, the, the savings is, is great by being on this scholarship. These are um, unique and, and, and great aspects, and it's, it's a wonderful scholarship op opportunity. And um, we um, certainly want every student to, that is eligible to take advantage of it. And, and, great time.